So we're back here at the Seattle Boats to Float show. Um, luckily, it's kind of sunny. This is, um, it's been on and off all day. Yeah. So right now the sun's out, so we appreciate that. But we're gonna do a little something different here and doing any, instead of doing any kind of in-depth tours of any particular boat, we're just gonna show you some highlights of some of the boats we really liked. Yeah. Hopefully you like this video. Uh, if you do, leave some comments down below. Come on inside and let's go check it out. If you recall in our last episode, one of the yachts we wanted to revisit was the Ocean Alexander 27E. At just under 90 feet in length and with almost a 21 foot beam, the 27E is designed to take its owners just about anywhere. With a cruising range of up to 2100 nautical miles, room for plenty of toys on the back, and a luxurious interior, the 27E will get you to your destination in the ultimate comfort and have you ready to play and have fun when you arrive. When you first board the 27E from the stern, you can't help but notice the expansive swim deck and lift. As you can see here in the OA rendition, you have plenty of room for your toys and to entertain. As we move forward along the starboard side rail, you can't help but notice the overbuilt rails and the large expanse of windows. The walkways are wide and comfortable to transit. Arriving at the bow, you first notice the dual windlasses supporting the two anchors. Turning aft, you are struck by the huge sun pad, which adjusts into seating, as well as the horseshoe seating area and table. Heading back to the stern along the port side, again you are struck by just how much glass makes up the sides of the boat. The cockpit is relatively modest for a boat of this size, and includes room for seating, a wet bar, and ice maker. The true outdoor entertaining area is reserved for the upper deck, which we'll get to in a bit. Moving inside, you're struck again by the sheer size of the windows and how much natural light they provide and the views they bring to the outside. The interior design is clean and neutral with a large seating area with fold-down TV and dining for eight. Moving forward, you enter the nicely appointed galley with full-size dishwasher, stove, cooktop, microwave, refrigerator freezer, and a nice-sized pantry. There's plenty of counter space to prepare meals and again, plenty of windows to enjoy the view while cooking. Huge, heavy duty pilot house door. And here we have a little day head, which is perfect. A little TV for watching the football game while dinner is getting prepped. Head on down, come forward here. I'm gonna go all the way forward. Not sure if this is the master. I think it might be. You got a beautiful, wow. Nice walk-in closet and dresser. Full walk around queen berth. And plenty of storage. Do you have a nice shower? I'm thinking this is just the VIP. Added aft. Mid berth, we have a nice little ensuite twin, twin bunks. Walking in again, TV mounted to the wall. Good size walk in shower for the twin berth. Headed across. Uh, so we have mirrored twin berths. That's nice. And walking farther aft. This is the master, full beam master. Look at this, check this out. Jewelry makeup area, full king size bed, pop-up TV, sitting area on the other side. Don't know if this is a walkthrough. Oh, it is, so we have dual vanity plenty of windows i will say windows are huge on this boat we have toilet here we do have full body spray shower walk through this would be the 
the other vanity. Plenty of storage as well. Again, just tons and tons of windows on this boat. This is fantastic. Don't know if there's shades in here or not. Yep, there's shades in here, so I'm sure they're electric, so they come on down. Just beautiful. Next, we head to the upper deck. The upper helm station features a clean helm layout with three captain seats with the primary middle seat having controls built directly into the armrest. Behind the seats, you'll find a fully enclosed air conditioned and heated sitting area. And beyond that, the outdoor entertainment deck, including a wet bar, grill, hot tub, and plenty of lounge area to relax and soak up the sun. Next up, we checked out Mystic, a 2021 Absolute Nevada 73. The 73 is the flagship of Absolute's Nevada lineup, comprised of six models ranging in size from 48 to 73 feet. Boarding by Mystic Stern, the engine room and crew quarters access is flanked by dual staircases. The comfortable cockpit features seating and a large table to accommodate you and many of your friends. To port is a storage locker with hefty cleats and winch. To starboard is a mirrored store locker and aft docking controls. Entering the salon, we were not disappointed. Wow, it even smells good in here. It smells kind of like a spa. <laughs> so do you think we can, you can live on it? I think I can live on here. Obviously we have a retractable TV right here. Wow, we move forward. Oh, look at the bar. We have built-in bar. Wow, very nice. Storage below the bar. Oh, and we have a wine chiller refrigerator they here. The galley is decked out in mealy. You have a mealy cooktop, convection microwave, oven, and range hood. In addition, you have a recessed divider that when raised, separates the galley from the dining area. Also, you have a full-size refrigerator and freezer with a matching set stored down below. Moving forward to the lower helm, you'll find a passageway to the galley, a state-of-the-art helm station with three multifunction displays and multiple controls, seating to the port of the helm, two of the largest captain seats I've ever seen, and stairs to the upper deck. I'm gonna head upstairs to the flybridge here from the inside helm. Wow. Again, check out that view. Plenty of controls. This by far is probably one of the largest tractable openings on a boat. Incredible bar area. Again, freezer, fridge. Shading. Look at all of this social area. We're gonna go down the aft stairs, back down to the main deck, walk this side walkway. Very heavy duty rails. I would say I would like the rails to be maybe just a couple inches taller. Plenty of socializing area up here up front. the size of that sun map. Windless. Head back. 
to the full master suite. Check this out. Oh, that's interesting. Full screen TV. It's interesting, they have a sink in there. Separate head. Kind of nice, glass door. Separate shower. Hanging locker. With a safe. Check this out. We have a full walk-in closet that leads to full storage here. Oh, wow. Is that the closet? This is amazing. And this what is even the master. It's not? No, the master is, is... Oh, it's a forward master? Yeah. Oh, I thought the aft was the master. No, wait till you go see the forward Oh my gosh. Master. So they're all on suites. So this is the mid, mid cabin. Again, en suite, separate shower stall, full sink. That's good. Plenty of light. So one, two. Oh, this is the day head. Three, four. Which is again, shower, sink. Oh, excuse me. No worries. We walk back here, so we have another mid twin berth. Very deep. Yep, I saw him. Another TV. Okay, ready to go up? Wait, yeah. I thought you said the master is in the back. You have to go up. Oh, you have to go up. And then go downstairs. Oh, you do? Oh. You passed it when you went to the hill. Oh. Now we're headed to the forward master. Again, full walk around. Beautiful big windows. Plenty of light. I mean, that's again, beautiful storage there. Wow, that is a huge closet. Love the textured walls. It's really going to keep things quiet in here. Moving forward, beyond the big flat screen TV, double doored going into the restroom or into the head. Huge, huge shower. And the marble seat. Wouldn't doubt if it's heated. Dual vanity. Interestingly enough, though, um, not a separate door for the head. We do have a towel warmer. Again, big windows. And again, lots of storage down below. Wow. And then lastly, let's go down below into the crew's quarters. So we have cruise quarters right here, single berth. Looks like we might have, we do have a wet head for the crew. We have the washer, well, washer down below, dryer on top. Electrical panels, we have more refrigeration back here. Little seating area for the crew. Going into the engine room. Looks like they are Volvo Pentas, IPS 1350s. We got two of those. This is fantastic. I'm six foot. I still have a couple of inches of headroom as I'm standing completely straight up. We have a little bit of a worktop here. Probably a little bit more storage under there. I'm guessing that's probably fuel tank there. We have a Cummins owning generator. It's a 21 kilowatt. Plenty of storage above the engines. I like that. Utilize the extra space. 
Oh, we have twin generators. Water maker. So you got, and this is a 29 kilowatt. So you got 50 kilowatts of generator power on this boat. And of course, you gotta have your fishing poles. So we got rod, rod storage down below as well. It's always fun to tour the big yachts at a boat show and dream about winning the lottery. However, Scott and I are determined to find the right live aboard in our price range, so we continued our hunt at the show for our next boat. While we are taking next week off to go on another adventure, we will follow up next time with some more tours, including a brand new Fleming, a 1989 Tiara, and a 1987 Ocean Alexander. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and please subscribe to the channel. You can also follow us at BoatingJourney.com and on social media at BoatingJourney. See you next time.